So the title of my testimony, our testimony, is From Religion to Life. Hallelujah. And Jesus said in John 10, verse 10, Jesus said, I am come, and that word am, he didn't say I have, I am come. He's still coming today. He's yes. still in the am. Mm -hmm. I am come that they might have life and have a more life. Jesus came to be their life. Jesus did not come to give us religion, but life. Yes. In fact, he came to give us the very life of God. Amen. Eternal life is not some kind of quality of life that is without end. Of course it's without end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God is eternal. He has no beginning and no end. And the life that we receive from God through Jesus Christ is actually of that same quality. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saved now for... 40 years plus. But it, it seems to me that I've been saved from eternity. Amen. And I believe that's the kind of life that God has given to us, even though we don't understand that, nevertheless, that's the kind of life it is. And so the Christian religion, and I'm talking about religion, the Christian religion as a religion, and I'm not sure whether you're aware of it, but there's lots of Christian religion around here. Yeah can be, and I think it is, the worst religion there is. Right. <laughs> because you can believe all the right things yeah. and know all the facts and figures and everything about it and not have the life. That's right. Yeah. And that's the tragedy of the Christian religion. Yeah. Now, I was religious. I didn't know that. Of course, I knew I was religious, but I didn't know that that would have been the worst thing you could be in. <laughs> He even mentioned the surprise people are going to get that all they had in his life was the Christian religion, and then they died. Yeah. I got the shock in the table where I could have been. I got a few close calls before I came to know the Lord, even as a young person, but not a fine. But I'm going to die. Who would be lost? Yeah. 
So you can believe the right things and still miss the real essence of what true Christianity is all about, namely the life of God manifested and imparted to us through His Son, Jesus Christ. The Word of God says in John 17, 3, This is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. This is life eternal. The Christian life is a revelation. Amen. We live by revelation. We, we have something in our heart that that our mind sometimes can even catch up to. Amen. I'm sure. Yeah. But you know, before I really understood fully what God had done, there was an awareness in my heart that God loved me. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it, it's wonderful, really. And so, this is like each other. John 17, 3. In 1 John 5, 12, it says, He that has the Son has life, and he that does not have the Son of God does not have life. <coughs> and that's pretty yeah. simple. Right? I mean, you couldn't put it any clearer. He that has the Son has life. Yeah. And he that does not have the Son of God does not have life because it says that because the life of God is in the Son. Yeah. That's why when you have Jesus, you have everything. Amen. You know, you don't have a third of God or a little bit of God. No. I know we have a part. And I'm not saying at all that you see God is but I think God is infinite. You couldn't get all of God anyway. I mean, He's infinite. But at the same time, in Jesus Christ, when He brought all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, we have received fullness in Him. So. So when we stand before God, the question will not be, what do you believe? Uh, St. Peter won't do it either. <laughs> He'll be somewhere, but he won't be standing at the gate, I'll tell you that. He's not going to say, uh, could you show me your ticket? Uh, or were you Catholic? Or were you Protestant? Or were you? No. Uh, did you go to church? Matter of fact, I don't think there will be any questions asked at all. That's right. If you have life, you're in. That's right. Hallelujah. If you don't have life, you won't be in. Amen. And I'm so glad I'm in. Amen. And Hallelujah. I know the difference between religion and life, I'll tell you. That's right. For 33 years, I was religious. <coughs> I'm going to share a bit about that. And so, when, when you have life, you just simply in. I don't have to worry that when my last moment comes, whether God will accept me or not. No. When my first wife, Catherine, passed away, just 60 seconds before she left. And that's where we have believed God for healing, definitely. We have to talk about that. You can't believe to die and be healed at the same time. And so in all sincerity, we believe God for you. And yet at the last minute or so, before she passed away, the Lord gave you the grace to say to her, trust in me, the Spirit of Jesus. 30 seconds later, she's gone. It was Jesus. Now there came a lot of sadness after that in my life. But you see, it's so wonderful to know that when our last moment comes, we don't have to think, I wonder if I'm accepted. We are accepted in the new life. Amen. Amen. Because we are life. Amen. And Jesus is the way, he is the truth. And so the big question, the big question for now, not later on. Don't wait for the answer for later on because it's too late then. Can you all hear me okay? I'll try to speed up a bit. I'll just move this a little bit too bad. No, 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 I, I, it's not, no, it's not working. Oh, oh, 